Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to walk through the settings and functions available in Practice Master's built in document management feature. Practice Master document management is easily configured to automatically name and store linked documents in a centralized location. Document management can play a major role in your everyday workflow by streamlining the process of storing new documents and making it easy to access those documents via Tabs 3 Connect, the Client File, Matter Manager, Conflict of Interest Search, and Document Search. Let's start by configuring document management in Practice Master Customization and installing toolbar plugins. Then, we'll cover saving a new document into Practice Master, reviewing the available fields in the document management record, and adding an existing document to the Practice Master document management system. To get started, enter Customization in the Quick Launch. Next, select the Documents tab. The Documents tab is split into two sections, Manage Documents and Checkout Options. Under Manage Documents, selecting the Automatically Assigned Document Folder and File Names option is the recommended way to keep your firm organized. This option allows you to specify the shared location for all of the documents to be stored, as well as the folder structure and the file naming convention. There are several options and levels you can choose from for the folder and file names to fit your firm's needs. For example, you can configure Practice Master to store documents using a folder structure of client, matter, and document type with a file naming scheme of client ID, date, and description. In the Checkout Options section, you can optionally require users to check out documents for editing. This prevents multiple users from modifying a document at the same time. Other users will have read-only access to the document while it's checked out. When ready, click OK. Next, let's take a look at how to install a Practice Master toolbar for the programs that you use most, such as Microsoft Word and Adobe Reader. Search for Toolbar Plugins in the Quick Launch. Adding Toolbar Plugins allows you to quickly save new and existing documents into Practice Master. Note that each user will need to install the toolbars on their own workstation for the programs they use. Simply select the tab for the product you want to add a toolbar for and click Install. Now, let's take a look at the toolbar on a newly created Word document. On the Practice Master tab, the PM Save button works directly with the document management file. Click PM Save to save the document to Practice Master. A document management record will be displayed. Since Practice Master can be customized to fit your firm's needs, your document management file may look a little different. However, the concepts here remain the same. The date field will be pre-filled with today's date and the created by user will default to the user that you're logged in as. You can enter the information for the record, such as the description of the document, an associated client ID and contact, and select a document type. The Document Type field is used to group like documents together, such as research or medical records. Document types can be added from the Document Type Lookup window by clicking the New icon in the toolbar. For this example, let's select Fee for Fee Agreement. Once all the information has been added to the record, click Save. Once saved, you'll be taken back to the document. If any edits are made to the document, you can save the document using the standard Save button in Word now. However, clicking the PM Save button again for an existing document in the system will display a dialog allowing you to specify how you want to handle the save in Practice Master. You'll have the option to update the existing record, create a new version, or create a new record entirely. Now that we've shown you how the toolbar works in Word, you can use the same process with the toolbars in other Microsoft Office programs, Adobe, and WordPerfect. Another simple way to add an existing document to Practice Master is by using the Send to PM feature in Windows Explorer. Once the Windows Explorer Toolbar plugin is installed, simply right-click the document you want to add and select Send to PM. You'll then be prompted to enter the record information like you would for any new record. When you save, an additional message is displayed, which provides the option to either maintain or delete the unmanaged copy of the record. If you choose to maintain an unmanaged copy of the record, it won't be affected by any changes made to the document stored in the Document Management System. On the List tab of Document Management, all of the documents will be displayed. You can quickly filter, sort, and organize documents using the options available in the Quick Clicks pane. Just click on an entry in the list to open the record, which will display the record information for easy reference and provide a link to the document. Additionally, the snapshot associated with each record in the list allows you to quickly review information about each record and provides a link to the managed document without having to open the full record. And that's all it takes to configure and add records to document management. For more information, check out the Practice Master Document Management Guide. Thanks for watching. See you next time.